Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. In the last episode I let you guys pick where we were going next, whether it was Meltdowns or Smogly. Uh, overwhelmingly people went for Meltdowns, so we're going to jump into there. If you go on to enjoy this video, please let me know by clicking on the like button, it really does help out. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, all you have to do is click subscribe. What the hell is this mess? Uh, the Meltdowns power plant seems to be experiencing some technical difficulties. Uh, Bungle Technologies owners of the power plant to put a press release stating everything is fine, no need to panic. The very same day, they also evacuated this nearby hospital. Apparently, an experiment in their research department went awry. Mayor Winsock has asked if we could take over. We found some intriguing research papers scattered around. Maybe we could continue their work. Looks like the place needs a bit of a tidy up first. Also, rumour has it there are some very strange patients showing up in the local area. Good luck. Wow. Okay, so the whole place is... Absolutely battered. Where's the power? There's the power plant. It looks alright to me. Um, okay, yeah, this is a bit of a grim, a grim looking place, but we've got all this stuff to open. So let's just pause the game a sec. What, um, can we do something with these? Oh, no, we can just sell it. Oh, okay, we've got 50 for that one. Oh, we got 50 for that one as well. Nice, okay. So I guess Janice's are needed then? Let's just hire. Um, higher, higher, higher. You know, you, can you, do you want to get started? Excellent. Okay. And now, one thing I really want to do with this one is take my time a little bit, all right, and uh, really try and think about how the building is going to open up and how we're going to develop it. And, um, and and yeah, look at really concentrate on staff and stuff. And also, what I see a lot of people doing that have been quite successful is not really worrying about treating patients for a little while. Just kind of uh, letting them come in, and if they're not pharmacy, just get getting them diagnosed and sending them home, and kind of taking the money that way, and slowly building up a good diagnosis base before we really move forward. All right, so that is kind of what I'm thinking we do here today. We're going to start off with a. I think we'll do. Should we do a reception desk? I mean, we could do, but there isn't really much use for it. It looks like people are going to pretty much exclusively enter through this main entrance door here. Yeah, so there's not, there's no real need for major receptions. We'll just go to... Uh, oh, no, we're in the room here. We don't want to be in that. Let's just go for a regular reception there. And then, you know, in the future, we can look at advancing this. But for now, I think a regular reception is probably the way to go. Uh, we'll sort of assistant in a moment. So, I'm thinking a couple of GZ, GPs offices, um, maybe maybe actually leave all this space for GPs pretty much and then have, I don't know how to look at that one, have this as our big old diagnosis room. So I'm going to open you up. Let's uh, sell a lot of this. I like how it just opens up. That's good. Have this as a big diagnosis. Uh, yeah. And then we can work into more space later on. Okay, um, let's do, do you know what we haven't done for a while? We haven't done a time lapse. Let's do a time lapse.
my face on a giant poster Tonight we're having oyster With the Kobe's taking the toaster Waiting to feed my lines and shit You better deal with it Wait here, I'm about to pick up Scarlet J And then that'll eat P What you gonna do with all that cash? I'm gonna stay out in an all-night of bash I'm gonna buy myself a nice suit and tie And then I'll give my boss the finger in my private jet side What you gonna do with all that cash? I'm gonna stay out in an all-night of bash I'm gonna buy myself a nice suit and tie And then I'll give my boss the finger in my private jet side So here we go, this is a most basic hospital. Basically all we are treating is people with um, treatable illnesses from the psychiatry, okay? But apparently we can use this as a little way to build up our coffers, all right? So we're also gonna be uh, specifying that we take on people like Jeff here who can be trained up as we see fit eventually. But for now, we're gonna start off with uh, Ross Sandals here who is, um, uh, has got the GP and the diagnostics, so you're going to be a pretty good start, Ross. You're going to stay in there, okay? We're also going to need a nurse with treatment, ideally, yeah, so Homer Barnacle. Get yourself in there. Does this room need a nurse? Yeah, so you can do both of those, even though you're more suited to treatment. And then finally, we need a couple of assistants. Not too worried about training these ones up. They have mostly marketing skill, but yeah, let's just get a decent... Uh, should we get two or should we just leave the leave? yeah we'll get two all right um and then we're going to close we're actually close these rooms because we don't need them open right now and we'll see oh we could probably do with another nurse can't we for here there okay right last thing i want to do then is get a staff and Let's job assign them a little. So you're GP, so you do GP for now. Okay. Uh, nurses, I want one of you staying in the pharmacy. Alright, so that's going to be you. And then I want you to be able to do ward and... Oof, which one is it? Injection? Fluid analysis. There we go. So yeah, you do. Yeah. Good. There we go. Uh, assistance wise, I'm going to keep one of you on reception. Yes, that one. And one of you on the other stuff. All right. Now I realize we haven't got a staff room or anything now. So our first point of call is going to be doing that. I noticed as I was putting some stuff down. See, that's a little cheaty cheaty, isn't it? We can, uh, we can, we can help out our, uh, Oops. We can actually help out our... Jo oh, sorry, look. Go on. Let's make our drug mixer more effective. Somebody... Uh, oh, no, we need, a, we need a mechanic with upgrade. Let's have a look who we've got. Mechanics. Yeah. Well, either of you will do then. Come on, we'll bring you in there. Get started on that. Can't do the fluid accelerator yet. We need to make this place look a little bit better. So, but we'll just think that. I mean, it's a bit of a. Oh, that appeared then. Ah, so we can't actually. We can't get rid of stuff like this because it makes it reappear. It's like, that's clever that they figured that out, though, isn't it? The janitors need to get to work. In fact, then let's get. Let's hire more janitors. There we go. Hire. Come on, make the place look lovely. Thank you. So, doing it this way does mean that we are going to have to micromanage a little, alright? Because what we're going to have to do is when uh, somebody gets diagnosed, so your 100% diagnosis, let's find out what they've got. Treatment in the pharmacy, perfect. You get to stay, you get to go and, uh, and get yourself cured, pretty much, in and out, good. So you're next, Tommy Iceman. Get yourself in there, let's see how you get on. In you go. And 100% um, diagnosis, that's great. And you've got verbal diarrhea as well. Awesome. Next one is straight in. Blake Phoenix. 100% diagnosis and verbal diarrhea. Awesome stuff. Okay, so basically our, uh, 
Oh yeah, you're doing that. Well, that's fine though. Get that done because that's going to help. See yourself there. Oh, crazy drug mixer too. Lovely. So even though you've only got 10% treatment, it's still treatment, you know? You're going to help. You've got a lovely room that you're in there. Um, okay, so you're going to get up. Are you lazy or something? Green fingers entertain a little are happy. Good. Centrifuge for no reason. That's good. Get yourself in there. Who have we got coming in there? Nice jacket. Bobby Murdoch. Verbal diarrhea. Lovely. Okay, so verbal diarrhea is the big one. In fact, we'll see how now this is operational. We'll see how we get on. It may even be worth a second pharmacy. Okay, up you get. There you go. Uh, seems like pretty much everyone is coming in here to get their verbal diarrhea sorted. But it's, you know, we're getting a good chunk of cash each time, and we're not, and um, we'll just, we'll send people away as we need to. What, what's up with you? Verbal diarrhea, my god. You're next. Let me look at you. Howard Carpet is your name? Nice. Diagnosis, ver verbal diarrhea. Okay, so there's going to be a bit of a queue here. There's only three people queuing. All right, well, we'll keep an eye on that. Is this area clean? Yeah. Okay, so that means, unfortunately, are you all done? For now, at least, we're actually going to get rid of a couple of our janitors because we just don't need that many sitting around. So, um, I mean, we might as well keep the all rounders, really, haven't we? I'm so sorry. So sorry, June Rambo. I mean, they have an awesome name. To be honest, everyone in this game has an awesome name. Oh, by the way, I put a thing on Twitter. Um, there are people called Jonathan in this game, which is my proper name, really, although nobody actually calls it me. Um, I haven't seen any Jonties, but there are people called Jonathan in this game. And there are people called Sparrow in this game as well. I've seen Sparrow as a surname. So, if you get yourself a Jonathan Sparrow in your game, screenshot it. Let me know on Twitter. I'll send you a Geekism mug. Oh, no! We have our first death. Chance was 91%. I mean, it's going to happen, isn't it? I'm sorry. It's going to happen. Uh, let's hope he don't turn into a ghost. I love that. It just like, swept up. Any ghosty ghost? No. Good stuff. Why are people... Is it this verbal diarrhea? If you do have verbal diarrhea. I mean, if you do, that's fine. Or if that's... Is that just the aim of the game here? Is that people throw up and be sick because... Because they're near the nuclear plant, I guess. Is that is that what it means by freaky guests and stuff? Freaky people being uh, served? Yeah. Four people queuing for that. Seems like verbal diarrhea is the way to go. Well, we'll see. We'll see as to whether or not we need a second pharmacy. Because that that's going to be bringing us in a fair old bit of cash, I expect. See, that's just a 87% a diagnosis. So you are now going to the ward. That's fine. That's fine. The ward is doing all right. Okay, so how's this work then? They come over to the bed, nurse gets them in. Yeah. Earthquake, earthquake warning as well, oh great. There's a lot to deal with here. Okay, so what have we got here? Warning, seismic activity has been detected in the areas because damage our machinery. Okay, we keep an eye on it. Uh, misery guts is pharmacy as well. Uh, oh, and the nurse, nurse is about to go on to a break. Um, well, we're going to have to hire a nurse. We can't afford for our pharmacy to not have anyone. Oh, we've got some good staff here. Shall we swap this around? Treatment, bedside manner, injection, treat Right, okay. Lucy Bap. <laughs> and Ward Catro. Hire. Okay, so you're going to go. Wait, sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be ruthless with staff here. And who's the one who's about to go on the break? Yeah, you're fired as well. Sorry, we don't take breaks here. Oh! That isn't your medication, nice. Okay, that needs to get maintained straight away. Not actually seeing what happens when, a, when an earthquake finishes yet. Um, it's being fixed though, that's good. As in, I'm not seeing what happens when a building, uh, you know, something gets completely knocked out by an earthquake. Right, we need a staff room, don't we? Because people are starting to have breaks now. We've only got 38 grand, which we will probably need to get a loan, but that's okay. I feel like we can manage that. I kind of like the idea of having a staff-only room. But not, I mean, they're funny shapes, aren't they? The layout is really kooky here. Okay, it's going to have to be this one, I think. 
Um, and this will be... Yeah, what? Oh, I'm trying to think what we can do here. Let's open you up. Uh, money's quite low, we're going to need a loan. We are going to need a loan. Let's get a loan. Uh, just the 50 grand one will do. So what I'm thinking is actually is we could just cut this corridor off and just kind of have this almost like a useless corridor. I don't know whether the game will let me do it though. Let's have a look. Staff room. Uh, Dawn must join a car. Yeah, I know that. What I'm thinking is... Must join... Must join room to a corridor. No, it won't let me do that. Okay. Well, that's interesting. It would have been nice, but it's okay. There we go. We'll sell that. Um, so that space there really has to be open. I mean, I guess we could stick a little toilet there and just have it like as a kind of useless mini mini corridor that whole space is really kind of funky really i guess we could put something there and then like a weird a weird room hmm what about yeah what about can we put a staff room here let's just get rid of all this for a second can we put can we get away with the staff room there yes Okay, that's going to be staff room and a staff toilet here, and then this is the more useful area, right? Okay, that's what we're going to do. So, uh, the way into this is going to be here. I mean, this is a yeah. I've had to. I'm having to compromise my uh, my aesthetic here a little, but you know what? Sometimes it just kind of has to be done, doesn't it? Let's get a armchair in there. Uh, TV in the corner people to watch coffee table just because it looks the part there we go lamp come on i can go in there there we go uh, a couple of beanie bags I, I, I know this is like the setup i do in every single one but i just really like how it how it looks uh okay radiators it's gonna be a little chilly down here so we'll do we'll do one there and we'll do one over here I think and then I'm going to change these around a little bit let's have the windows there okay and then we'll have some bookcases but first of all I don't, you'll have seen me do it in that time as we had um, this is my new favorite thing I, I it feels a little cheaty I guess but but whatever's you know like it works and it means that I don't have to just fill the room with... I know, I know I am filling the room with stuff. But it means I haven't got to fill the room with stuff, obviously. And just kind of have this huge mess of, of stuff just to get the high prestige. I, I much prefer having it look a bit more real, you know. Notice board by the door. Pretty standard stuff, I think. Um, clock. Can we put the clock there? No. People have to see the clock. I mean, that's weird, but... Okay, clock can go here. That's not an awful spot for it. And then finally, a couple of food and drink machines so that they can, um, you know, replenish and all that. What's that? It's a level four. I mean, that's not bad. That is a pretty pretty sweet little staff room there. And then next to it, we'll put a, like I said, staff-only toilet here. And then that kind of makes um the best use of the space and i don't we i i have been i had been putting the things behind those i'll keep doing it just so all the all the toilets are pretty similar um it uses the best use of space and i don't mind the super thin corridors if i know that it's only pretty much staff going to be using them or the occasional uh person going through I wonder why the music stopped oh <laughs> he says I think because the game was paused. Harrison Wolf here on two point radio. Um, a few people asked me, uh, have asked me, and I've also seen that asked the developers a lot who the um, who the people who do the or the radio stations are, the, the DJs. It's actually all one guy. It's a guy called Mark Silk. He's a very very talented um, uh, voice actor. Did a lot of stuff for Lionhead back in the day. There we go. They can go and do that. So now we can click here, and we can say that patients can't use this one. There we go. Um, all right, so really, movie star visit, yeah, go on, I'll risk it. Hospital transfer, that's going to be hard work because of all this crap, so I'm going to reject that one for now. 
Um, the doctor has gone for a break, so we're going to have to hire another doctor with Pat Pumps. You are going to be the first guy that we keep because you, you, you're pretty much exactly what I want, Pat. As long as you, as long as you're not awful, positive, motivated, funny. Oh God, energizing, too cold. Too cold should go away. Yeah, there you go. Because um, you are GP and you're ready for training as well. So I think you're going to be an awesome little uh, addition to the Geekism Hospital family. Okay, so Pat Pumps. <laughs> what a name. Um, right, bit of a queue there. Going to be a bit of a queue for him. He's not going to be as speedy, unfortunately, as he was, but that's fine. Right, Pat Pumps is well on his way to his third level as well. So we will start looking at training him up soon. So far, nobody came, nobody has come in that we can't treat, which is pretty awesome. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, you, oh, he's coming on helicopter, the VIP has. Let's have a look at you. Come here. Who are you? Oh, you're looking the business, mate. Roderick Cushion. Roderick Cushion, excuse me, a famous actor, has arrived. I'm going to slow down a bit. I feel like that's going a bit too quick for me to manage. Yeah, sicky, pissy crap on the floor. Janice's, uh, I'm going to hire you because you're the only guy with the, or girl, you're the only one with the, um, with the ghost. So shot clinic and DNA lab, they're the two things that I don't believe we have, so we are going to have to research them. I think we're going to be here for a little while, you know, because we are definitely uh, moving towards uh, new things. It's really annoying that that door doesn't open there, so I'm trying to think, if they get... If they get diagnosed by the GP, they go straight to where they're going. If they don't, they'll move their way down to here for fluid and ward. And then all the way back down to the GP, which is a bit annoying. There's still a bit of a queue there now, because he's not quite as good. Pat is not quite as good as our last doc. Um, there's a lot of litter around. Yeah, no... Someone's going to swear there. No, uh, no kidding. <laughs> there's a lot of litter around. So I'm just trying to think whether or not we we haven't really done our flow as good as we could have done here and what may have been better is a smaller ward and a GP up here to deal with anyone that's come from fluid or ward you know hmm. what's this one here what have we got here uh, treatment in the ward that's fine or maybe even move ward completely and stick a smaller diagnosis in here Huh, it's questionable, isn't it? I'm really unsure, actually, because I, d I definitely want patient flow to be an important part of this. And it, But to be honest with you, it's a, they're really funky building shapes, which is making the, the whole situation a little trickier. Maybe eventually these get moved once we open up more plots. Um, are we earning money? That's the important thing. We're not quite earning money. Um... Pat's keeping a decent eye on the queue. Where's our other doc? Have you finished your break yet, Ross Sandals? Yeah. You're, you're the guy who's... You're, you're actually treating people pretty well. So I think what I'll do then is open that room there. And as soon as your break's finished, working in GP's office, there you go. I'll tell you what, I'll help you out. There you are. So those two guys and girls can... Uh, Sort the cues out there. Hopefully, Security pharmacy, fracture clinic. Uh, no, we're not ready for that yet. So let's have a look at our patients and see where we're up to. Diagnosis. They're either. Hmm. Oh, okay. Bed face. Right. So your diagnosis certainty. So what? Where are you heading? Are you coming out of the GP? See, 35% on the diagnosis, it, it, it ain't great. It's meaning that people are going to have to start coming up to these places, you see. That's that's the problem. We need better diagnosed staff. Um, yeah, that's who we need. Eugene Cucumber, come in here. Right, Pat Pumps, I want to keep you because I want I want to mould you. I want, you're going to be my, my moulding guy. So let's get a little st uh, staff room and start building you up a little, okay? Uh, not a staff room, sorry. Uh training room and we're gonna I'm gonna form you into the image <coughs> I don't know what I'm saying uh, right okay door there lectern in here just to one side a little 
because we're actually only going to have three staff getting trained in here at any one time. Because any more than that, you can't keep up on top of it anyway. Let's get our uh, little uh, little technique going here. This one is pretty good. We can do like this and really fill out. Because not only do we do all that, then in front of those, uh, we can place our encyclopedia bookcases, which gives a two percent hospital, uh, two percent speed on um, research. This, these these are expensive, but I'm going to go for it. This room's going to cost us twenty six grand. This this room's going to wipe us out, actually wipe us out. But I feel like it's okay. Here gives us a percentage training speed as well. So let's get one of those in, just because it looks the part as well, doesn't it? Um, we may as well push to get this up to, up to um, up to level four because look how close we are, really. Let's um, let's do a couple of these on the wall. There, that's all we needed. Look, well, I don't want to leave it completely empty, so let's put one there and one there as well. Good. And last but not least, a couple of little windows. This is the, an expensive training room, but look at it. How good does it look? That's absolutely going to wipe us out. It gives us 700 quid. So that's going to have to sit there until we've raised a little bit more money because obviously 10 grand is needed to, um, to actually train people. I've just realised we've got no radiators in there. Can I squeeze one in there? Yeah, he might be a little chilly. Go on, I'll put one there as well, just to make it nice and toasty. They're going to be cold, but I'm not too fussed about those. That's just random corridor space at the moment. Uh, okay, so are you sitting doing nothing now, Pat? Yeah, you're looking for work, aren't you? So in a minute, Pat, as soon as we've killed one more person, we're going to get you trained in level 2 GP, hopefully. That's going to be the plan. Uh, hospitals in debt. Oh my words. I'm assuming we just paid somebody. Revenue's higher than expenses though, look. Ah, excuse me. Just taking a little sip of my drink. I'm not, I don't want to take the other loan. I want to see how we get on. Let's speed this up. One person's needed for fluids, so... I don't want to have another nurse. How many people are queuing for pharmacy? Loads. Okay, um... Right. Oh yeah, we didn't do actually do this, did we? Treatment. So you stay in pharmacy because you're the treatment nursing. All right. You can do ward, but also I'm going to need you to do fluid as well. All right. I I, I I'm hoping. I tell you what I'll do. I'll just micromanage it. Hopefully, people can stay in their beds. Whilst you get cured. Okay, publicity updates. Roderick Cushion didn't include his visit in a hostel in his public diary that gets published every week in the Two Point Squabbler. He can't have hated it, I suppose, but he did forget coming here. He'll need to improve the hospital if we want celebrities to remember their visits. So it was just an average one. That's fine. I'll take it at the moment. We're still early doors, aren't we? So, um, these places for people to sit and stuff. We need a nurse in here, so hurry up and get. Right, there we go. Right, nobody came for that. Yeah, there we go. We're just going to have to, unfortunately, do a little bit of micromanaging there for now. And then as soon as this number comes up, come on, come on, Pat Page. No, not Pat Page, the famous magician. Pat Pumps is sitting around doing very little. We really want to tweak him to be just super GP. That's going to be the plan, is that we take, eventually, all our staff members are honed honed into the ultimate um oh you spent a dollar then did you spend a dollar on that god bless you um there's a cure outside of pharmacy is it worth building another one probably yes but we're massively in debt so no it isn't uh, although you are i mean you're, look you've got treatment treatment and emotional intelligence ah oh, bless you um which means you should be treating people pretty well Appointments in pharmacy, verbal diarrhea. It's just that pretty much everyone's going there. Yeah, do you know what? Let's... I won't delete you, but let's move you to over here. Temporary solution. Sell invalid items? Yeah, whatever that invalid item was, it's fine. Um, you're going to be... Excuse me, I just did a horrible burp. Let's have a look. Uh... Oh, we can do that and just take 75 grand. Oh, 10%. It's a lot of money, isn't it? Go on. We're going to have to do it. 
Or we could do it and then pay that one back and leave us with 19. Yeah, okay, let's do that. That's that's a good loans to pay off loans. That's uh healthy, isn't it? Let's put another pharmacy in. Um no copy room feature yet, although although Detective Blala um did spot on a recent um uh, picture that they shared from the Two Point Hospital uh uh, official stream, official Twitter, that um, that there was a uh, there was a copy button on the on the room options, which is pretty exciting because I think that'd be awesome. Like just for here, for instance, how good would it be if I could just press burp, copy it, um, and just make another pharmacy right next to it? Because I'm pretty much copying it myself now, look, because it's a decent layout, you know. So gosh, yeah, that'd be that'd be super super useful let's get a real nice pharmacy going here this is probably why we're so skimmed by the way that we're spending a fortune on uh, on this sort of stuff but I think in the long run it really does help there we go that's a new model do a little bit of variation we'll just swap the anatomy model and the chair around but other than that we'll keep it pretty samey uh, we have a notice board on the wall. I know they don't give that much attractiveness or anything, but I just I really like them. There we go. Um, I don't know. We can't really afford a nurse, but what are you going to do? Ward. See, so we could get Nigel Rancid on the go. Let's get Nigel Rancid on the go, and then have you nurse Catrout because you you Nigel Rancid can be at. Uh, um, am I going to pick you up? You can be the guy that eventually becomes the ultimate ward guy. Okay. Talking of which, we can now get young um, Pat Pat Pubes change. What was his name? <laughs> Pat Pumps. Um, junior assistant. Though we're not interested in training anyone else. Unless, let's just see. Let's just see. Is there another doctor with? No. I mean, that would have been perfect, wouldn't it? You're ready for training. But yeah, no good. All right, never mind. Let's just do pat pumps, just to save a bit of money. But never mind. Pat pumps. Courses available. General practice two, uh, by, uh, yeah, e huggles. Unaffordable. Oh, because it's oh, okay. Let's just play the game a minute. We need. Oh, there we go. Never no, got enough. Okay. <laughs> we are scrimping today. We are super, super scrimping. e will start training. Leaves us with £456. My god, whether this was worth it or not this early on in the game, I don't know. But do you know what? The reputation isn't actually doing that bad. We're not doing bad on rep. We're not having many deaths or anything. People are getting cured. We're doing all right. Uh, electrical storms have been... Uh, electrical storms? That's new. I wonder what they're gonna uh What they're gonna Oh hello! Oh my god, look at this! What on earth? Okay. Okay, now I now I know what an electrical storm is gonna do. Oh I wanna try and pause it. Oh look! <laughs> right, well there's this level screenshot. <laughs> um <laughs> Get a screenshot of that bad boy. Look at him, poor guy. What have we got a roof on this hospital or what? Wow, there's a lot of stuff to clean up here. Look at them go. They haven't stopped. Nurses required then. Oh, three people are queuing for that. Wow. We can't even afford a bench. We may have gone a little bit over the top. <laughs> we may not be able to uh, to keep up. Oh, there's a bit of money. Good. Staff challenge. Hygiene rate. Yeah, we have a pretty good hygiene rate, don't we? 72. All right. Well, tell you what, I'll bring that up. These are pretty cheap and sexy, and they can go outside of rooms and be all lovely and bring the hygiene rate way up. So we can do that. And also, I think they look awesome. They look exactly like the sort of things you actually find in L'Hopital. Uh, can't get one outside of either of those. Never mind. Here they can have them now. That hygiene is actually pretty low at that point. That would be a good place to uh, 
to build your hygiene rating up a little bit and maybe coming out of this toilet as well. I've never seen actual people use them. But uh, yeah, let's get then once that gets cleaned up, I reckon this will get through the roof. Well, maybe not through the roof, but you know, it's a start. Nurse is in there now doing fluid dynamics, that's good. Uh, doctor is almost available for work. So what I'm going to do is when he's... Oh, look at them all queuing here, bless them. Let's put some benches down. We can afford a couple of benches, can't we? There you go, guys and girls. I'm sorry about that. I bet, I bet you're going to be cold as well, aren't you? Too cold, yeah. Um, let's just get a radiator there. And ugh, uh, let's put one... There's going to be a window there, so let's, <laughs> that's a bit of a preemptiveness. But can you look at this guy? What is he doing? Are you happy that you're learning, Pat Pumps? You're done. Good, Pat Pumps. Well done. Um, quite a few stars have three training stars. I'm sure they do. But for now, we are actually going to fire one of them. Staff. Docs. Docker, docker, docker. Okay, Pat Pumps. So who's going to go? It's got to be Ross Sandals. Fires. There we go. Right, you're both in there until Pat Pumps is ready for another level of training. Don't tell me you're going on a break. No, you're going in there, aren't you? There you go. Diagnosis zero. Yeah, I'm not. It didn't even finish that patient. Ross Sandals, how awful of you. Bit of a queue going on here. What's happening? You're going on a break as well. Do we have an assistant in here on a break? Huh. Where's our assistant gone? There you are. Go back to work. Sophie Servation. Servation? That's a new one. Uh, pharmacy, beautiful. Monobrow, no. Although I think Monobrow is quite an easy one. I think Monobrow is Ward. Oh, we're getting the red again, look. This is, this is rough. What can we do to help? We've only got two staff. We've got three nurses. Should be more than enough. I... I Thing is the ward is treating people and they keep you and you oh, we really wanted to keep Nigel though he was going to be our awesome ward dude um no we're gonna have to keep three nurses for now I mean what we could we could lose a uh, assistant yeah let's fire you sorry and we're gonna get rid of this and we'll just replace it with that there you go that's look at that for cutbacks Three janitors. I mean, to be honest with you, we don't really need awesome as awesome janitors as we have. Let's have a look. See, we could just get as long as you've got. Hmm. All we need is somebody with mechanics, somebody with maintenance, and somebody with uh, with ghosty ghosty. Right. Let's. As soon as we get a little bump of uh, money, there we go. We're going to hire you. And then we're going to go to our staff and get rid of Super super Janitor. Sorry, Derek. <laughs> Don't say that full name. Monetization out of the window. There we go. Sorry, Derek Hunt. You are no longer <laughs> welcome here because you cost too much money for basically somebody who sweeps up. Um, and I think what we'll do eventually is do the same with... Uh, Orlando Fingers. Let's get Orlando Fingers on the go. Alright. Um, and then we can go back to our staff. And who, Orlando Fingers, you have maintenance, which means we can lose... Oh, nobody had maintenance. Oh, maybe that last guy did. Alright, so we can lose one of the Norman Norman Waiters... Norman Waters, excuse me, you're gone as well. Sorry. You're just, you're just too expensive, Norman. Um, other than that, I don't, I don't really want to increase cost of uh, treatment I don't I don't think we're there yet I don't think we're ready f I don't think we're able to do that but hopefully revenue expenses should start to teeter out why does why can't we just have you three people that are queuing for this pharmacy I tell you what we'll do we'll close it there we go and the all move over to that one there we'll open the pharmacy when we need it close it when we don't perfect Perfect. Yeah, micromanagement, but I do think in the long term it's going to help. And as long as we have, do we have good pharmacy person here? Yes, two treatments. That's good. There is a there is a pharmacy 
training option, I know, but um, for now, that's it. Where's uh, Wardy? Nigel Rancid. Low hygiene. Hygienic. Oh, he feels low hygiene, that's fine. Uh, are you ready for training yet? No. As soon as you are, mate, you're getting ward training. Can we do ward training? Ward management 3? Their hospital is a well equipped, it's true. Oh. For what's the use of healing your body if you have to sell your trainees soul? available? I... Oh, yeah, look, cat trout. No, I don't want war management three, I want war management two. Lucy Bap. Huh, that's interesting. Is uh, GP. Oh, look at that, the course is available. I, I'd love to know what makes it pick, pick those. I guess it only, they only turn up if they're if they're able to do it. So let's so when so when young uh, young Nigel here gets up to hundred, maybe that's when ward management two appears. Maybe that's it. Oh my God! Is this eight people queuing for pharmacy? Come on, let's get somebody in there. Go go go! Right, hopefully that'll calm down a little bit. Who are you? Appointment GP's office. What are, you, what, what are you doing over here? Heading for Q. Oh man, that's some that's some uh, that's some funky pathfinding right there, isn't it? Look at that. Report a visit. Impress the VIP. Uh, if she's impressed, the hospital good for her reputation. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, promote. Who are you? Are you Nigel Rancid? Promote. I'm not going to do pay rises this time. We can't afford it. Can't afford to train you yet, Nigel. Sorry, kiddo. Oh, look at the hygiene rating. If only we could up that a little. What do we actually get for it? Where's the hygiene low? Let's have a look. Is that, is that one? Hygiene. I mean... There's no particularly bad areas that I can see. I mean, I'm not awesome with my colours, but... You're pretty, you're pretty filthy right there, but I don't think there's much I can do about you. The actual hospital itself is pretty hygienic. There's a bin there that's useless. Useless. Let's get rid of that. That might help. Uh, there's a oh, the toilets could do with a bit of a scrub. Um, verbal diarrhea. Who have we got a uh, misery guts? Oh yeah. Well, you're gonna destroy that loo then, aren't you? Let's find a janitor. If there's one around, maintenance. Is that you? Yeah, there you go. You're now, you're, can I, can I put you there? And then, will you do that for me? I've called for it to be done. From two point radio Come on. Arrived. Come and do this, please. You got Harrison Wolf on two point radio. There we go. The band claims the song you yeah. just was composed in outer space. Let's do you as well. Ooh, the rest are pretty good. So yeah, I don't uh, hygiene wise. Of course, maybe they just drank too many cans. Hygiene rating. That's tricky to get up. Oh look, it's awards time. Let's see how we're getting on. Oh my god, this video is really long. We're gonna we're gonna finish after these awards. <laughs> um, I got away. Let that get away with me then. I was enjoying myself. Open. Award for Rising Star. We get 5,000 some... Uh, this is good. This is we could do with this cash. What else we got? Another five grand. Nice. Employer of the Year. Good stuff. So what's that then? Staff happiness and reputation. Nice. Rising Star. Most improved. That's damn right. We have had a death, so we're not winning that. Yeah. Old Foundation. We didn't get that one. Um, best teaching hospital? I mean, we train one person. I can't imagine we've got this. Yeah, Jungle Mega Cops can say. Didn't, is, that, is that how many conducted the most training yet? Patient's choice? I mean, maybe? Maybe? No. Holistics. Most prestigious. Awarded the hospital with the nicest working environment. Maybe? Again? Maybe. Yeah, there you go. And we certainly aren't going to get research hospital because we haven't done any, and we I don't I don't we'll get hospital of the year. There we go. Right. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Fifteen grand didn't actually give us any though. That's what I don't understand. Where's that money? Or is that it? Injections? No. 
65. It's actually gone down. It's back up to 60, 76. I mean, uh, other, th other than literally just spamming these things around. Where are they? Where are they? Those little hygiene blobs. There was hand sanitizer. Increases hygiene. I mean, other than, other than spamming these around, I don't really know what else to do regarding hygiene. Oh, that has actually pushed it up a percent. Look, okay, right. Let's let's um, let's go for it then. Outside every room, you dare get one of these, even if you're not a particularly dirty room. I don't know whether or not that actually has bumped it up, or if it's going to take like eight of them just to give me one percent. Let's have a look. Can we get one there? Still seventy-seven. Still 77. Am I just seeing things? Did I just uh, see what I wanted to see? I mean, I, d I like having them outside the rooms anyway, so I don't mind putting them in. But yeah, this, this number is not going up, is it? Um, I, mean, I don't want that to stay there. It's a bit weird. Just on its own. Yeah, still 77. I don't think... Unless, unless now they're in, people use them. Maybe. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's tricky. Shot clinic, uh, send patient home. There we go. So there, here we are. We're starting to get uh, people now coming in with stuff we haven't got cures for, which is fine. We knew it was coming. I was hoping we'd get a little bit longer, but money's coming in now. Look, let's have a look. Revenue. Oh yes. Okay. So. Maybe we've got past the point of um, 70. Oh, 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 oh. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, <laughs> I went up to 79% then. And it's dropping. Oh, 79. Okay, right, quick. Let's get let's get these cleaned. Because we're 79% and those are dirty. If we can get these cleaned. Yeah, there we go. That was tough work. What, what did we get for that? 25% happiness. Um, oh, what, just for her? <laughs> that was probably not worth it then. <laughs> um, I don't know, well, it was fun to do, wasn't it? It's nice to set our own little challenges sometimes. Where's our docks? Are we, is there a dock on a break? Oh, let's turn the uh, hygiene thingy off. We've had that on for ages. I bet people have been really annoyed by that. Sorry if you have. Uh, Pat Pumps. Finishing your break, come on then, I'm gonna help you out. Micro, manage the hell out of you, Pat. Why can't I pick you up, please, Patrick? No, you're, you're on one, aren't you? Whoop! Have you got shock therapy? Did you see that then? They just went blah, 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 and turned into like a. Turned into a skeleton. That was pretty good. Ah, there was somebody else doing it, look. Oh, I missed it. I want to try and catch somebody doing that. Let's just knock this down a little bit. Public specificity. Oh, yes, look. Um, it's a feature on the hospital that's leading the countries. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, a bit of rep. Some cash. Okay, good. Yeah, reputation coming up. That's good. That's what we like. All right, cool. Right, I think we're going to have to leave it there. I know it's I know it's a pretty standard start. We haven't really seen any of the new features of Meltdowns, but I really wanted to try and tweak this and, and, and run it well. Whether we are or not, I don't know. So suggestions on a postcard, please, as to whether or not what we're doing here is good. The layout of the rooms in this one is funky, man. I think that's going to be our biggest issue as we move forward. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're new here and um, you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, pop them down in the comments. If you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. And if you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.